I thought since perhaps I am moving from a Gen 3 block to a Gen 4 block, and I have both of them here behind me, that maybe I would go over a couple of the quick differences between the blocks, um, since they're right here, and some of the changes that I had to make. So um, let's take a quick look and see what those are, and uh, maybe I'll learn a thing or two, uh, or maybe not. But anyways, let's check it out. So here is the new Gen 4 block. Um, it's all done up with my new parts. Obviously, there's still a lot of pieces to go with it. And then here is the Gen 3 block. Now, without stating, that the, the Gen 4 is an aluminum block, and this is a iron block. The other difference here is 5.3, 6.0. But aside from that, um, I wanted to just show kind of some of the general differences between the blocks. Um, obviously, the Gen 4 is known for having great... Um, stock rods, uh, but there was a crossover period, so this is a Gen 3 block, but it actually has Gen 4 rods. But aside from that, one of the largest, most commonly known differences um, you'll see here at the top in the valley cover. So um, the Gen 4 has the um, displacement on demand, uh, DOD as it's known, uh, where it shuts off some of those cylinders. So for the new motor, and most commonly, um, you know, people deactivate that or shut off. So I've actually tapped all eight towers and we'll be putting plugs in there. And then I purchased um, an ICT billet cover for that. So to compare it, let me just pop this cover off. On the Gen 3, you clearly don't have, um, let me set that down, those towers. So you can tell real quick that they're quite a bit different. Again, Gen 3 sorry, Gen 4, Gen 3. And that leads me to the second most common difference is of course, down in the valley cover are your knock sensors. So uh, here and here, now I don't run knock sensors on my setup, but um, that's where they are from the factory on the Gen 3. On a Gen 4, they're actually moved to the side of the block. So there is an extra threaded embossment here on the side of the block um, where the knock sensors go. I believe there should be another one on the other side here, yes right there. So those are not found on a Gen 3. The next most common and known thing about the difference between the Gen 3 and 4 is of course the front cover. So there is a Gen 3 front cover, very basic plain looking if you will, compared to what I have here. Uh, a brand new, and I'm just kind of set this on here and I'll back up so you can see them, Gen 4 cover. Um, the main difference here being, of course, that the cam sensor is now located there. So on a Gen 3, if we look at the back of the block here, there's your cam sensor. And I'm uh, going to go ahead and change that, of course, to the front, which is why I have a new cover here. So I did buy an extension harness uh, to run down here to the front. So there's uh, that piece of it. When, when it is in the front cover, it moves to a different cam gear, which... I don't have readily available, but you do move from the uh, 1X to 4X. Additionally, you'll move from the, uh, let's see here, what is it? The 24X crank to the 58X. And you can see the multiple more teeth between the two, if it'll focus. There's that. Uh, one thing I did notice, if you actually look at the block itself, um, it is said to be a bit more structurally sound um, without diving into the actual block itself. But one real quick thing is um, the coolant plug, the large coolant plug that you see on these uh, is moved to the front on the Gen 4. If you look on the Gen 3 right here, it sits in the back. So I'm not really sure the exact meaning of that, but they did move it, one of the things I noticed. Um, and then outside of that, that's pretty much it. You will notice um, on some of the spots here, there are additional, there's additional material uh, where the lifters go, which is not seen here. Although the lifter trays do have these little cutouts um, for where that would be, whether it's on both sides. Of course, the LS motor, the heads are identical, so they can go on both sides as are the trays and everything else so obviously you see those pieces there 
So that's the main differences. Again, um, obviously the, the Gen 4 looks really, really nice, all cleaned up and ready to go. But yeah, so uh, different timing, reluctor wheels on the Gen 3 to 4, cam sensor moves from the back to the front, uh, no DOD on a Gen 3, and then your knock sensors move as well. Um, I can't recall if the Gen 3 motors all have it or if it's just commonplace, but there is um, two threaded holes there for a uh, timing dampener that, that goes on as well. So those are the main differences. You know, short, sweet video, but I just wanted to show a few of those things. Um, I know a lot of people are probably pretty familiar with it, but if you're new to the LS and kind of wanted to see that uh, in person, there it is. So time to get this thing fully assembled and back in the car so we can go racing so thanks for watching guys like i said kept it short and sweet and just wanted to show those differences